All right, some of 884 here with another Transformers Tides Returns review. This time we're going to be looking at Autobot Hot Rod <coughs> and his Titan Master Fire Drive. I guess they couldn't get Firebolt. Instead of being a Target Master, he's now a Hidden Master. Here, take a look at this car. Fonse. Yeah. Still got them leader uh, qualities 10, 9, 10, 10. So this is Titan Returns Hot Rod. And that's Fire Drive. What's it called? Look at it again. Fire Drive. I'll probably end it calling it Firebolt. Uh, sitting in his guns on top. Like this. And it just there's a, it fits right in there. And it has these two little pegs, slots, whatever. That just slot into these little gaps on his engine. You know, looking at this through the camera makes it a little bit hard. Let's actually just look at the one I'm doing. There we go. Yeah. Not really convenient. Hey, my five year old twins ask, Well, how does he see? Because it blocks the windshield. I said, Well, it's a robot. Doesn't have to. Alright, we're going to do a little quick comparison. Alright, he's kind of coming up peg here a little bit. Um. This is Titan Returns. I'm going to try to leave him in the middle. This is the Classics, or I think it was Universe. It's a Chug. And here is G1. Now, I do say he looks better. He looks more like the G1 compared to this one. You can see he's got the side. It's just the spoiler looks better. Uh, he's closer in color with the spoiler. I don't know if you can tell in these videos. It's still a little bit bold darker uh it's not as wide on the canopy here but the transformation is very similar the arms on the side and legs and he's very similar in transformation doesn't have as he's not as wide for the inside and the front part and this is the chug uh, more of an orangish red notice he's more red and he's more burgundy uh, this is more of a sky blue and this you know that uh, was closer match. Yeah. Now we're going to do side comparison. Little flaps on like stand up very well. And you see, uh, this is like painted, just gray plastic, and chrome. And then just cover the back wheel, sort of like G1. And there's the back of the car. They both sort of got the feet looked down with the feet being there, but I think this one. This just more matches this, in my opinion, than this does. This is a good updated, modern, real, sort of, a, I don't want to say real world, but it looks like it could be more real world version of that and that one. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been sick the past like three weeks, so. But, yeah. Overall, I really do like the look of this one more than the Chug in robot mode and in vehicle mode. I do wish he wasn't a Titan Master or Headmaster. Uh, biggest complaint I'm going to show about this car here, the Titan Strike, is the lack of paint on the tires. You see, at least he's got, you no know, the, the, you know, it's gray. He's just straight black except for the little... You know, pin they use for the rotation. You know, G1, of course. Rubber tires there, so. I did that by getting a paint marker. And he's got these little molded bits on the tires, if you can see them. And going over those, just to give it some color, break it up so it's just not black. Because this looks like a a three-year-old's toy in a way. This is solid colors, but you know. I think add a little bit of color to those tires there. And that would make it look, oh, sorry, here. Look, look a whole lot better. And also, if this was more painted, if this was more painted, what the hell? If this was painted, uh, instead of being gray plastic, I think that would look better. Uh, if it would look more like this here. I think it would look better, because this is paint. That's white, though. This is silver paint. This is molded plastic. And that, yeah. Which looks fine, but I do like the look of that. And I think on his... Things here it would make them look stand out because this is painted. I think this was the same as that, he looked even better. I do love this one as well. 
Well, we'll get the transformation. <coughs> Excuse me. It's been a while since I transformed. I guess I can go to show off his cockpit here. And you can plug his Titan Master guy right on into that right there. Yeah. He just sits in there and drives a car. And also, you can see there's these two peg on the back of his vehicle mode that you can uh, put some more Titan Masters on him. I do like the playability. If I was a kid, you know, I'd really like stuff like that because you get lots of range of playability for these figures and stuff like that. As an adult, and there's as a collector, it doesn't really matter. I buy these just to pose. All right, transforming him. I'll raise this up just a tad because I'm raising him up too high. Yes, it's been a while since I transformed him. Let's take a look at him. All right. Going to break these off. They just kind of peg inside of these. Just kind of get his arms out there. And his feet just come down. Like so. Okay. I do have a little bit of loose hips. I don't know about plagues more than that. Uh, I'm going to take this back piece here, which does go over the rash. I pull, I pull this up first. And that goes, and you want to. Break the hinge up, and you can actually rotate that like that for right now. All right, back to the legs. <coughs> Pull his feet out up here. You go ahead and take this piece here. It is if this collapses in to the back of the leg, and you can take them by the waist. You just want to rotate. Mine has trouble rotating. I have had the see come apart very easily fixed you just guide it back in and legs are done and take his arms I'm gonna raise the camera up a little bit okay uh, you just pull them down little hinges and this piece here folds in like the very front of the car here it folds in on itself and you just take this and you fold it down and there are these little pegs here, here that will slot into these little parts, like so. Hands are right here, just pull them out. Like so. And then these elbows are here. And this piece here, these two little slots so will just go right over there, or grooves, or whatever you want to call them. Go in the grooves, the tabs. Alright, that is Hot Rod. Let me get his Headmaster. Fire Drive. This is Fire Drive. And you already know the articulation of these guys. Transformation. That is Hot Rod's head sculpt. It's very nice. I like it. And you just plug it on in. Plug it in, plug it in. Maybe. Get your head in there. This is the first one I really have problems. There we go. And that is hot. Hot Redimus. It's hot rod. And I do like him. I think he's a very nice figure as well. I do like the look of him. Like I said, he could do it with some actual paint. On here says it's being molded. Especially on his pipes on his arms. Let me just do a little spin around of the figure here. I think I knocked his thing out here. Let me just hit on there. My only complaint I really have with the robot mode is his arms are so tall, they block his spoiler showing much in robot mode so you don't really see much of it this is hidden all right so you take his guns here they separate they have these little peg pieces they go in these little holes and it just snaps together and this little piece here grooves into there and now he's got some guns 
course, in the cartoon, in the movie, they showed him shooting lasers also out the <coughs> his arms. So technically, he doesn't need these big guns. If you don't want him to. You can use your imagination. Use your imagination. All right, I'm gonna do a quick comparison. We'll just leave him here. This is him with the Chuck counterpart, and I guess I should make a. a I should say this isn't the original one that came out. This is the the hot rod that came with the two pack. It came with Cyclonus. So the other one was more of the G1 burgundy color. So. <coughs> I think this is being blue was orange. Otherwise, you know, the paints is a little bit different. But otherwise, the same figure. Uh, so you see that. I do like this one better. I, you know, this head, I always thought was a little bit small. I always thought he was a little bit too short. And this one, you know, he's a little bit taller, so he fits in a little bit better, I think. And this one. Uh, things I like about this one, maybe, uh, it's just that they incorporated the little the communicator, or not a communicator, the chainsaw. It comes out. You know, you can cut stuff. But, you know. And that's that one. Also, his gun is uh, spring loaded and you can fire the blue missile. And this is a G1 hot rod. So. Yeah. Well, you can say with that, huh? Alright, uh, <coughs> all three of these did do some sort of like spin or rotation of the spoiler to get it to the top, so. Yeah, I guess you can call it a homage, homage, or just homage, or just you know they just did all that. But it's a way to get a spoiler up top. Overall, he's very good. And here's just showing him off with the combined awards. You can see how tall he is. He's a lot taller than some of the other ones, which I do like. So overall, I say if, if you like, if you're a hot rod fan, I say he's a definite. Uh, you don't. And you have to take his head off to transform him, but you don't have to make it a, a feature. You, know, you leave him one mode or the other. But if you're a high rod fan, Rodman's for fan. I think he's he's well worth the money. If you're, you know, already got one and you're happy with the other ones, I say I wouldn't bother. But otherwise, very nice. I say he's he's up there as one of my favorites. Uh, mine does have this little sort of a loose hip problem here. Um. But yeah, you, know, you can kind of fix that. This is not a ninety dollar masterpiece kind of figure. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out.